to Manny Pacquiao, and uh, we will see Manny again, I'm sure, uh, in just a few months. First round, uh, not much action. It was a feeling out round largely, but Manny Pacquiao going downstairs, working the body, and that's what I thought gave him the first round. There were just a couple of good shots to the body, and I thought that was the difference in the first round. In round three, that's where the fight changed completely, I believe. A sharp left hand. It dropped Mosley. Mosley looked around like, where am I? What happened? I don't. That was not supposed to happen. The third round was supposed to be my round. Well, not only wasn't the third round his round, none of the rounds were his round on, a, on two judges' cards, despite the fact that Kenny Bayless called a knockdown of Manny Pacquiao at one of those rounds. So a dominant performance for him. He just kind of did what he had to do. Freddie Roach imploring him to throw combinations. You saw a pretty good shot right there. It lifted the leg of Mosley. Mosley was never in this fight, not for a moment. That is the non-knockdown. But two of the judges, as we said, just chose to ignore it and say it wasn't the knockdown. And so I'm giving this round to Manny Pacquiao anyway, even though I don't think you're really supposed to do that. But Pat, there was no question about it. It didn't have anything to do with the outcome of the fight. And on the three judges' cards, uh, more than unanimous. One judge making it 119 to 108. The other two judges giving all 12 rounds to Manny Pacquiao. And one of them, in fact, making it 120 to 107.